What are your immediate plans? When will you be back? And why did you think it was important to be here today? I mean, it's just the first day. It's just, you know, we want to set the tone. Um, I don't know exactly my off-season plans. You know, I usually train in LA, but I definitely want to be able to be here and create that bond, that relationship with the new teammates, coaches, everybody, just so you can kind of see, you know, who I am exactly. But um, I just thought it was important to be here today. I know he was going to be here. He said he was going to be here, so I had to come see my guys. Yeah, so there could be a, an outside perception about you that you're me first in some ways. Why is that wrong? It's just wrong. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how else to explain it. Like he's here today, and I think that shows that. You know, it, it's just hard. It's hard that I know. I see all the stuff that's said and everything, and um, I think one of my biggest problems is that. I care, but I, I don't care at the same time because I know who I am. So nothing that's said about me is ever going to bother me because I know who I am, you know, and I just stick to that. Um, I went to a school where we were running the ball like 60 plays out of 72, um, and we blocked every day in practice. So my mentality was never me first, you know. Of course, we're receivers. We want to catch the ball. We want to score touchdowns, but, you know, I. I tell him you get you get the post route. I'll get the corner. Like that's how we worked. It, it was, it's just it's something different, something different. What is it like for you to be around not only Juice again, but a guy like Baker who has that that passion to play that way? I mean, I'm I'm known this guy for a little bit of time too. When we train in LA, we've you know feel like we've talked about you know being here, and then it's here. So it's just I, I, it's hard for me to put it into words. Um, being here today, but I'm just thankful for the opportunity. For the guy that said before the draft, that there was anyone who could <coughs> turn this thing around here, it was going to be you, and then a year later, Odell's here. Um, as you can imagine, pretty excited. <laughs> um, no, it was uh, it was one of those things that, like O said, it's one of those things you can't put into words to describe it correctly. Um, I had two people at the house sitting there when I found out I just started screaming, just like, just yelling like you would have thought I was on the on the field on game day. Uh, just exciting, you know what? Because it's it's the potential. It's knowing exactly who he is and knowing what type of of guy he is. I mean, his play and his ability speaks for itself. But then, you know what? The, the things that we talked about all throughout last year of what we need, the types of guys we need in this locker room to go in the right direction, and that's that's the best thing that it's about. That he's a team guy. Um, and he's going to be a, a great presence for us in this locker room. Um, enthusiasm, passion. Uh, the thing that I think gets misconstrued a little bit with Odell is he loves people. All right, he loves to play the game. Um, I I truly feel like he loves being around his teammates. Um, you know, as a coach, sometimes you 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 look at uh, the team as your family, but you know, at the end of the day, we're not family. Okay, family you're related to by blood. You've got a daughter. You got everybody at home. But there is a brotherhood, so to speak, in the locker room, and I think with a lot of good players, they want to just feel that sense of brotherhood and and. Uh, you know, compassion and, and uh, the passion that he brings to the field is kind of um, contagious, you know? I thought it was interesting that he didn't go to stats or numbers. He said enthusiasm, passion, and the, what gets misconstrued is that how much you love the game. And I'm just wondering how important you consider those attributes of yours to be to your success and to your acclimating to a new team. Um. Well, I think you're exactly right about that. Like, it's not well, the numbers is is nothing because I don't feel like I've put up my best numbers. So, number the people say numbers don't lie, but I think that they do. Um, and w what I want to bring to a team is the person that you know. You know what I mean? That's that's what I want to bring to this team. Energy is all I bring. I'm gonna uh, I work hard. You know, we used to have practice where. We would, we're running, we're replaying the play. If we didn't get it right, if we didn't like the throw, we didn't like the play, like run that back. You know, we need it again. Um, so you're, you're getting a guy who's going to give you everything he has on Sundays through, through the rest of the week as well. But I'm going to lay it all on the line every single time I go out there Sunday.